Hey, what's up guys? So I just got the crankshaft and my case is back from the machine shop. So what happened was that this crankshaft is within spec and well this one is close but uh, everything else else is within spec. I was given an option of if I wanted to get back to factory or as close as to uh, rebuild our new engine as possible I would have to grind the whole crankshaft, polish all the journals, get all new bearings and hone out all the connecting rods and that would cost probably like four or five hundred bucks plus all the other parts that I would have to get and that kind of uh, made rebuilding this engine kind of uh, pointless but uh, since this was within spec what I was given the other option I had was just to polish all the journals get new connecting rod bearings and hone out that one connecting rod just to make sure everything is uh, it's completely uh, circular and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'll be reusing the main bearing connect uh, the the main bearings. I mark them uh, where they go, so I know exactly which one goes where, and uh, yeah, so that won't be a problem. But yeah, so what I did with the uh, cases was just to get them washed. They're thoroughly clean. Got all the gunk out from uh, you know all those shave metal shavings from the old uh, that bearing that was all in them. They're all gone. So. Um, so yeah, and all of that costs like about a hundred bucks. So uh, yeah, so far I'm only a hundred bucks into this engine. But of course, there's I gotta get the head gaskets, valve cover gaskets, a um, whole bunch of O-rings and uh, C-clips and other stuff. So so yeah, you know when at the end I'll probably be into the engine about two two fifty two hundred fifty bucks um, just in parts and stuff. Okay and. Just to show you guys how I'm laying out the parts, since someone asked, uh, yeah, just uh, go in a pattern, you know. I start from there, you know, starting from there. Those are parts for a different car. <laughs> and those are the main bearings, some of them. Uh, so don't mind those, those came off at the end. But these came off from the beginning, you know, those that, that uh, EGR hose or tube, uh, intake manifold, the water pipe, then the timing cover, the left timing cover, harmonic balancer, right side timing cover, timing belt, timing uh, timing components, water pump, oil pump, all that stuff and well, still on the heads and the way I do it is just uh, basically if I can, I put the bolts for the whatever I'm taking off, I put it inside of it or next to it what you want to pay attention to is, uh, you know, if you're taking off bolts for, like, let's say, the oil pump, and one of them is a different size, you want to make sure you mark that. And uh, but on this engine, as far as I can remember, none of them were, you know, all this, all the bolts and stuff that I took off different components, they were all pretty much same, same size. Well, except the, the block bolts, which I, uh, which uh, I mark put on the on this uh, box, which I marked see exactly which one goes where. And again, the pistons. I wrote on the side with the sharpie. I'll wipe those off with the brake clean and a rag before I put them in. So yeah, all in all, it was and obviously I put the the wrist pin and then the C clip. I'll be replacing these C clips, but I put them inside of them anyway. But uh, yeah, so overall, it's pretty easy to keep track of. You know, it's it looks crazy. Like it looks like how someone can ever possibly put every single bolt. <laughs> back to its original spot but it's doable definitely doable and taking multiple engines apart maybe not to the extent but you know definitely head gasket jobs and stuff and every single bolt that I took off went back exactly in its own place so so yeah this should uh, you know if you're doing some a big job like this it's a uh, this is a good way to go about it and of course you can always just use a small ziploc bag and bag everything every single bolt or every component and uh, that way you're 100% sure where every single one come from, came from. Okay, so in order to plasticate this crankshaft, these crank journals, uh, since we can't do this with it in the engine, that's, since that's how you normally do it, we gotta put a, get a setup like this where I'm using my jack stands to set it up, using rags and making sure not to scratch anything. And I got this number one up. I'm gonna insert the connecting rod from the bottom, put the cap on and plasticate it. But before we do that, we need to clean off all the journals. The way I do it is uh, just use some brake clean, spray it, then I use a microfiber towel and it's better than using these shop racks since these don't leave as much lint and residue behind. Uh, make sure wipe it down thoroughly 
it all the way around. Then again, spray with some brake clean one more time. That will wash any residue that your top, your uh, your rag leaves behind. And then I just use my air gun. I should be good to go. Okay, since we'll be using new bearings for the connecting rod, it's crucial we clean it thoroughly. And basically it's the same procedure. And it's very important to make sure the back of this new bearing that's gonna be resting up in the connecting rod is completely dry of any oils and thoroughly clean because that needs to stay in place and if you know if you put oil on the back of this where it goes onto the connecting rod then it's just gonna spin and then you're gonna have a hard time uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of uh, knocking issues so the oil that you put on the connecting rod be right before you put it together for the final time it goes on top of the bearing here okay and the way you put this in the connecting rod is to you uh, you put the side with the, this notch in first and then you slide the other side into place like that make sure it's flush and that's it. Now I do the same thing for the, the cap. All right, here's our cap for number one. So connecting rod and get that side in first. Just the side should just slide in. Nice and firm. Okay. Okay, next we get a piece of plastic gauge, which is that guy right there, which comes in this packaging like this. It's a long thin piece of that which you cut into whatever size you need basically this is a piece of plastic that when uh, you know when it's under under torque it squeezes out into a certain size which you then you will measure with these and this particular plastic gauge goes from one thousandths to three thousandths of an inch and the oil clearance spec for these connecting rods is 0 0.0017 thousandths of an inch so basically just a little bit more than one and a half thousandths of an inch so yeah basically we put this we're gonna put this on top here so we got our piece of plastic gauge on top then we're just gonna put the connecting rod and torque it down to 34 foot per pounds and then we'll take off our connecting rod and measure that and see how our uh, oil clearance is doing okay now we're gonna time put our uh, it's time to put our connecting rod on and you know if uh, I mark these but if you if you forget which way they go if uh, you know on there's there's letters on the side of the the cap and the connecting rod they need to be on the same side these notches need to be on the same right next right right next to each other and also these uh, this little sign here needs to be facing the front of the engine so it goes that way and then put the cap on hopefully the plastic gauge won't fall Gonna, oh, you need to have oil on these. I put some oil, dab some in my finger on some oil and then put some oil on there. So to get the correct torque. Then we'll have to torque them down to 34 foot per pound. Just do them a little bit at a time. Next, we'll just remove it. Okay, so the most of the most of the plastic gauge I think came off on the stuck to the bearing side to the to the cap side, and it kind of got smeared on this side. I don't know if you can see, but uh, it's kind of smeared up over there. But the best measure we can probably take is uh, here, and just line it up with uh, these. Um, let's see if I can get you better. I think that's probably the best I can do for you guys. But uh, anyway, yeah, it looks like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0015, which is um, just pretty much spec. I think 0, 0, 0.0017. But uh, but yeah, you know we're good as far as oil clearance goes here. So yeah, this is pretty hard. So I'm not gonna record the rest of it but I'm gonna do it on the rest of them if there's anything out of the ordinary I'll show you guys but otherwise uh, 
we'll go just go on to the next step. Oh yeah, and after plastic aging each journal, we're going to be putting the connecting rods back on them for the last time. Before we go, we put it back on the, on the engine. And before we do that, we're going to make sure we uh, loop these journals up, some assembly loop. Okay. Just one.